Hi, welcome to Cornerstone's newest build. This time we have a foundation house. This one's really special. It's going to the Keys. Um, the Keys lost most of their workforce housing uh, with Hurricane Irma. So it's been a long rebuilding project for them. Um, the county recognizes such a need and such a critical need for workforce housing that they have a program started where they're uh, using tiny homes in order to help to house even county employees so that people can live and work in the same area. Um, so we're just really proud that this is the first one that will be installed down there. Um, this is our Denali model. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but this is the very first foundation house that we built was a Denali model. This one looks all together different. Uh, this is designed to go in the key. So we have these light, bright colors, really pretty blue. This is a stain cabinet. Uh, it looks probably painted maybe on the, the film here, but it actually is stain. But it's such a pretty blue. And then we did a nice uh, soft gray wall on the blue side, light countertops to keep it light and bright, and the white appliances. So one of the things that I really love about our Denali model is this pantry. So this affords a lot of storage along here in, in this. It has adjustable shelves. You can put them at the height that you want to. Um, same with up here. We can have the shelving up here. So with this model too, uh, the county decided to go with a dishwasher. So you have a full 24 inch dishwasher that fits in this model really nicely. So as usual, we're using the vinyl plank for flooring all throughout. Um, another thing uh, that we've done now is make the countertop and the eating bar one level in this house. It can be elevated to a higher bar height level. Um, it fits probably about four bar stools here if you wanted to. I'd probably use the kind without a back just to get them away, out of the way, uh, so that you have a nice wide hallway here. So with our Denali model, it's really nice and spacious bathroom. It allows for a full-size bathtub. Um, somebody that really wants to take a bath, sometimes in a tiny home, uh, really all that fits well is a shower. But in this Denali model, we have a full-size bathtub, still has a nice area for a nice size vanity, and still have a nice size medicine chest above. In the bedroom, one of the things that we did, we wanted to incorporate a stacking washer and dryer. So this is typically where you're going to get dressed, where you're gonna have your dirty clothes anyway. So we put it in the bedroom. Um, in our first Denali model, we had it under the sink uh, in the kitchen. So uh, we use that for the dishwasher now, made a little more room in the bedroom for that. And we still have a really great closet size, I think. This size closet works really well. I'm really happy with that. So in here we use an electric tankless water heater. This is an EcoSmart. Uh, this is the EcoSmart 18. So it's rated for probably about, I don't know, I think it's rated for two bathrooms and a kitchen, so it's more than adequate to uh, ha or service all of our appliances in here. So we are so excited to have this go down to the Keys. Uh, we hope this is the first of many more to come, and we will show you the next one once it comes up. Thanks for visiting. You can see more of our models at cornerstonetinyhomes.com or our YouTube channel, Cornerstone Tiny Homes. Thanks for visiting.